Hey girl. Yeah, sorry I'm running late. I have a... Uh, a couple errands I had to run last minute. But, um, I'll see you in 30. Yeah, whatever. Just don't worry without me, okay? Hey, sorry again for being late. I know you really needed me today. How are you doing since, you know? Since I got dumped by a cheater? Yeah, that. How are you doing since John the Jerkface? Not great, honestly. I mean, obviously it's not my fault. Like, it's that thing of bad things happening to good people, you know? Like, I didn't deserve to find my boyfriend standing me up for some blonde bombshell with his teeth behind her teeth in the middle of the freaking food court. Well, should we order? I think some chicken and waffles can get this off your mind. I think I'm gonna get a sandwich, but maybe pancakes and... Judith, are you... are you insta-socking him right now? Oh my gosh, it's worse than I thought. No, I was maybe just sending him a long message about how he's a piece of shit and deserves nothing but an Oscar the Grouch lifestyle. Jude, he's not worth your energy. I can't be the only one that's miserable. Okay, I get that, but... And the tip of the iceberg came in today. What do you mean? I got in. To you, see. Congrats, student. You've been accepted to the magnificent University of Chicago, where your life will surely end because your cheating ex-boyfriend will live down the hall from you for 16 dreadful weeks. We can't wait to meet you. Dude, it'll be okay. I can come see you every weekend, and we can see all the museums and find cafes all over Chicago. Margaret, no. I can't ask that of you. You're supposed to be busy in Indiana with your CSI training. I would feel so guilty whisking you into my misery. It's just a criminology program with a high-end paid internship, but I'll be fine. And you can come visit me every other weekend. Honestly, I would love that if that meant that I would never have to see his stupid face again. And I just found out she's going too. And what do I have? I have a few succulents in this stupid latte. I don't want to be a barista that's so dumb and sad. Jude, it's going to be okay. We have the whole summer to deal with that. It'll be the start of something new. I'm going to ignore the fact that you just made a high school musical reference. Because I know you're just trying to help. When my mom got divorced, she started all these new hobbies to something about finding her passion. Did it work? Yeah, well, sort of. She got really into knitting turtle shell cozies one month, and we don't even have a turtle. So we just need to find your passions, and I think I know where to start. I really needed this girl's day out more than I thought. Better than laying in my bed watching Dirty Dancing 30 times. You what? Uh, uh, you, 
You said you never wanted to see him again, and now you won't. That is not what I meant. Judith, I'm your best friend. I'd do anything for you. What about your internship? You could get into so much trouble for this. Not if you help me get rid of it. New beginning. New beginning.